One of the common thoughts out there is that as the vaccine rolls out that we'll be able to relax on mask usage as well as some of our hand washing precautions and our other measures. This unfortunately is not going to be true for quite some time. In the St. Joseph community, we've had 5,800 people test positive for the virus and we've given about 1,500 vaccines. With that being said, the total being about 7,500 people that would have some immunity to this virus inside of our community is a great response. However, in order for us to achieve herd immunity, it's estimated that we would need 65% of our community to have the, had the vaccine or the virus. That would be about 52,000 people. Unfortunately, we're sitting at about 7,500. However, we're rapidly vaccinating at this point in time. Nonetheless, in the meantime, until that we can achieve herd immunity with 65% or 52,000 people vaccinated, it's gonna be imperative that we continue to wear masks, that we do our hand washing and social distancing, and keep up those practices to help keep the health of our community as best it can be. How effective is the vaccine with single dose versus double dose? The initial studies show that 80% of people achieve immunity with a single dose and 95% achieve immunity after the second dose. All the studies were done with Pfizer and Moderna, included a two dose vaccine regimen, and that's what we currently follow here at Mosaic and intend to follow until the scientific evidence would otherwise indicate. One of the news networks recently released a report suggesting that we could cut the Moderna dose in half in order to expedite the rollout of the vaccine. Unfortunately, as it stands today, this is not scientifically proven and Mosaic at this point in time will continue to use the full dose so that we can follow the evidence-based protocols that were set forth inside of the investigational studies. If indeed the scientific community were to show that, that it was just as effective to use a half dose, we would certainly entertain that thought. But as today, we will continue to practice our evidence-based medicine to the best of our abilities, as we've always done. Early on, there was a large question about whether immunity would last and the antibodies would go away. This was, I think, premature in stating that it would only be there for three months. We have many patients who have had the virus who continue to donate serum plasma for the benefit of others inside the hospital. They've continued to produce antibodies for months. And a recent Stanford study suggested that we don't have any idea how long these antibodies will last. If we were to look at the previous experience with viral infections, many of them last a lifetime with their antibodies. We're certainly optimistic that at this point in time, the vaccine or the acquisition of the virus will induce immunity that should be protective for you in the long, or in the long run. We don't exactly know how long or how frequent those shots would be necessary, but I suspect in my own estimation that this will be a significant amount of time. A question has come up as to whether we're behind or ahead of schedule with regards to immunizations. Fortunately, Mosaic has been the benefactor of having adequate immunizations available to us through the state, and we've complied with their regulations and requests to a T. We've continued to roll these out to our, our population who serve others inside of our community. We're currently ahead of schedule, we're doing very well, and we should have most of our workforce immunized within the next two weeks. Will Mosaic look to help other organizations within the community and their vaccination programs? We certainly are looking at this and will comply with the state's requests and regulations regarding this. The state has a very significant plan that's in place as to how to get these immunizations in the right places at the right times. We will certainly work with the state and comply with their requests at all times. And we are actively searching for opportunities to help our community get their vaccination and their immunizations done as soon as possible.